please give a massive cheer and a round of applause to Filippo. Welcome back to the stage, Filippo. Hello again, guys. How are you doing? Hello, Nims. Hello, good, Mark. Good, good. Hello, everyone. Everyone online. Okay. Hey. So, and as well, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to invite back another one of our special guests, friends, party member. Dude. <laughs> he was playing as Waluigi earlier and uh, didn't win. That, I just wanted to make that clear. <laughs> I won. Okay. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, from Nintendo UK, our community manager, Mr. James Bowden. Welcome back, James. Hi. <laughs> How are you doing? That, that was an interesting introduction. Uh, uh, you know, I try, I try. So, Filippo, let's not leave them in suspense. It does say on the sides of the stage what we're about to play, but go on, give it that big introduction you always give. So, we're going to play Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. Excellent. Wow. There in we fact, go. In fact, I'm going to get a really good seat. I'm going to make my way right to the front go of the stage. It. Go Ooh. for it. Go for it. Go for it. Okay, so uh, we start with Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu here. Uh, I want to show a little bit of what uh, can be done and how this game has been uh, changed compared to the standard formula. Something that we have tried to do is to make the game uh, more similar to the anime, to the original anime series, but also we try to connect uh, all of the millions and millions of uh, Pokemon Go players. But there, are, there, are, there is something for everybody here. There, is, there are a lot of additions, in for both for all-time fans and for completely new players. We are going to go to Viridian Forest. Very good. Now, as I was saying, I, you know, obviously I've been playing the Pokemon games since they first came out. Literally. So, so seeing this in glorious HD <laughs> is just... Amazing. Just a nostalgia <laughs> trip. I'm just kind of <laughs> like... <laughs> A so, child. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's for us, for us all, really. The first thing we see is that the world is full of Pokemon. There are uh, no more random encounters in the wild, but you see Pokemon everywhere in the world. And we can already see here, like uh, a Noddish and a oh, PG yeah. flying around. The idea is really to feel like you're part of this world. And I particularly love how Oddish hides so well in the tall grass I, now. I do typically mistake Oddish's hair or hair grass. Or, <laughs> or I'm, I'm not sure either, but fronds, that blue antennae, I'm not sure. It's something. <laughs> yes. So uh, I'm, I just need to touch a Pokemon to start the capturing process. And the capturing process, again, has been made uh, a bit more similar to the one in Pokemon Go with a circle that represents how easy it is to catch a Pokemon. But we have also uh, tried to make it a bit more similar to the anime, no? especially I will be playing with the Pokemon Plus controller. Everything I'm doing can also be done naturally with the Joy-Con. But with the Pokemon Plus, you have a little bit more feedback. So one thing that uh, Ash does always in the cartoon, he really puts his energy and throws the Pokeball. And well, so I mean, one thing he does is turn his baseball cap around. But, uh... Oh, I am. I'm, I'm baseball <laughs> capless. Get it? Okay. <laughs> All right. Great. Oh, good stuff. So, you can see actually when I'm playing with the Pokeball Plus. All of the sounds and the lights, thank you. <laughs> All of the sounds and the uh, sound effects and the lights that are emitted by the Pokeball in the game are also played here. On top of that, on the Pokeball Plus, I hear the original 8 bit cry of that Pokemon that wow. they did in the Game Boy. So it's quite cool for old people like us. <laughs> Oldies like us. I don't like, Who's old in the crowd? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> 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 We go for retro in this Splatfest. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, you can see also that we have some multipliers uh, based on how I throw the Pokeball. And I can throw the Pokeball in different ways. I'll show that uh, a little bit later. But again, this is, you know, Ash in the anime doesn't damage Pokemon when he befriends them, and uh, he throws the Pokeball. So we wanted to recreate this feeling. And he's also got some nice experience points there. Yes, you captions. get experience points also from capturing now, as well as from battling other trainers. But uh, you can see here, yeah, I think you recognize uh, these sprites, right? The, the spri yeah, the sprites again. Yeah, the HD visuals are like, this is how I thought it looked when I was a child. This is how it looked when I was younger. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, um, yes. Yeah. And then obviously you get the next screen, which is just, and this is how it looks now. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> oh, by the way, obviously the wire will not be there in the final product no. version uh, of the Pokeball Plus controller. So, so you can really get into weird. Yes, exactly. Throwing. <laughs> exactly. That's the point. No? You really have to try to throw the Pokeball in different ways. Like when you when you have, when you buy the game, if you use the Pokeball Plus, don't do this, because no Pokeball trainer does this. You know, like just put your weight into it and yeah. try to not to punch anybody. Uh, 
<laughs> so we see the model of Odd this year in its glorious HD. And another thing we notice in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee is that all of the Pokemon are on their, out of their life size, so to speak. Or if they were real, they have different sizes. So you can see Oddish is fairly tiny. We'll see later other Pokemon are uh, a bit bigger, so to speak. I, I also like the way we just saw it with that Pidgey there. You obviously mentioned the fact that wild Pokemon were in the grass before, but they also come out of that yes. tall grass as well. So nowhere is safe. Yes, yes. No. You, can, you can definitely be surprised by Pidgey, Caterpies, and Oddish in this demo, like I have been many times. Just a swarm of Pidgey uh, yes, blocking exactly. after you. They all yeah. seem to be surprisingly very friendly. Yeah. But well, well, more friendlier. Friendlier or, yes, let's say friendly. <laughs> um, so we go to instead a, a Pokemon trainer battle. And the f what you can see from the Pokemon Trainer battles is that instead they remain the classic turn-based RPG battle system that we are all used to. But I really like the battle music. It really it's very good. It just brings back so many memories. <laughs> Even uh, the position of... Uh, the bug catcher Rick, for example, is in the same position. Even though it is a 3D model, he will be in the same fight, pos fight pose as the sprite was in the original game. Ah, back in the day. And uh, uh, we also see that uh, here, if I choose my attacks, I use the Pokeball Plus stick to choose. I click on it to select the attack. And something that's quite cool is that I have HD rumble, both on the Joy-Con, but also on the Pokeball Plus. So I feel this attack. I actually feel the vibration of the Thunder Shock when I'm, being, when I'm attacking, and I feel the attack of Caterpie on my Pokeball. On top of that, I even hear, again, the original 8-bit sounds of those attacks in the Pokeball. So you hear the new sounds from the TV or from the handle, and the 8-bit sounds from so the So I'm going to be reminded I'm old every... Every time. Every time. Every time you battle yeah. or catch yeah. a Pokemon. Good. Good. It's, all, it's a time travel every time. <laughs> every attack <laughs> makes, you, makes you return to a child. So we made the quick work of this, of this Caterpie. And uh, by the way, have you noticed the beautiful, beautiful fur texture on the back of Pikachu? He's uh, very fuzzy. <laughs> this is fuzzy. because this is my partner Pokemon. So I am playing right now with Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. And my partner Pikachu is unique. There are many other Pikachus in the world that I can capture, I can train, and they can level up and evolve. But my partner Pikachu is unique. There are none like it. And again, similar to the anime series, he absolutely has no intention of going inside a Pokeball. <laughs> in fact, he always stays on my shoulder. And uh, uh, he also doesn't want to evolve this specific Pikachu. Right. And the same goes for Eevee. And the same goes for Eevee, Let's go Eevee in Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, obviously. Your partner is really unique to you. So, yeah. <laughs> I think we were going to ask the same thing. What's with the colored um, spiral bits going around? So you got the blue Pidgey there and the red yes. Oddish up there. What is that? Uh, um, I believe that's with the size. So actually, I'll show you uh, because I'll show you because Pika PG wanted me to show you. Uh, <laughs> or so uh, we have blue auras that signify tiny version of a Pokemon, and red auras that signify a huge version of that Pokemon. Uh, it is another element that's been uh, borrowed from uh, Pokemon Go. There are different sizes, even of the same Pokemon, and they also give you different bonuses. So uh, you notice that PG is. Uh, a little bit more aggressive, uh, let's say. Or, let's say, he doesn't want to befriend me as much because as uh, Odish wanted. Yeah, because he has a yellow circle. So what I can do now, I could use an item like uh, uh, a raspberry uh, that makes it easier for me to catch a Pokemon. So I simply need to click to use this. And just because I really want this PG, I will just even get a Ultra Ball, just in case. <laughs> An Ultra Ball on yeah. a Pidgey. Yeah. We know and Pidgeot comes in helpful later, right? Well, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> Let me try behind me. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, you missed. No. <laughs> Just wasting Ultra Balls right now. Oh, that no. That one over Come on, head. third time lucky. No. No. Uh, I practiced, but not enough. Anyway, you can do that. I did manage some time. Oh, <laughs> oh. Now the Pidgey's just making. Mm. OK, now it's a matter of principle. Come on. Timing. Hey! <laughs> a lot of work for a PG. <laughs> a lot of ultra balls. Yes, I know, I know. 
Anyway, it's still, the, it's still just a demo. But by the way, uh, something else I want to talk about auras is that there are not just blue auras for tiny Pokemon or red auras for huge Pokemon, but there are also, uh, there is a star aura. There is um, a Pokemon that are surrounded by stars, and that signifies shiny Pokemon. So ah. you can actually see shiny Pokemon in the wild, and they will actually have uh, the color, their shiny color. Uh, actually, as an anecdote, I have, uh, <laughs> when I was uh, training some of our staff uh, to do the demo, I saw my very first shiny Pokemon. Like, I've never seen a shiny Pokemon <laughs> in my life. And I see, obviously, a shiny Caterpie in a demo that I will never be able to take with me anymore again, so I lost it forever. <laughs> and of course, everybody remembers their first shiny Pokemon, and I will do so as well, <laughs> because that happened. Only, only in memory. Although uh, I imagine memory. when you play this in November, you're just going to be sat in Viridian Forest forever until you see a shiny Caterpie. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, you know, the Pokemon that you see here in this demo might not necessarily be uh, the Pokemon that appear in Viridian Forest in the full game. We've changed a few things to, yeah, to make the demo. And let's, uh, I see a Pikachu, I have to get it. Uh, <laughs> also because I want to show you the difference I was just telling you about. Now, this is a standard, let's say, Pikachu, and he looks different than, um, than my partner Pokemon. So let me see. Of course. <laughs> oh, it's a feisty Pikachu. Oh. <laughs> nice. Nice. Are you just reading the screen? Yep. 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 Yes. There we go. Good stuff. And uh, if we now see the, the model of this Pikachu, you'll see it's a bit different. So you see if I... It looks more like a standard Pikachu, of course. Still cute, very, very cute, <laughs> but not as cute as my partner Pokemon. Like a Thunderstone right for him right now. Yes. Oh, Always been a right oh, somebody else right right. <laughs> joining. A lowland Raichu over here. A lowland Raichu. Yeah. Surfing on his yeah, it's just a bit of surfing. I will run away from this Weedle. So very, that run was away. a very, very dangerous <laughs> Weedle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what's that icon in the bottom right of the... Uh oh, yeah. Uh, that icon uh, m represents a two-player icon because uh, at any moment when you're in the overworld or also when you're in the process of capturing a Pokemon or also when you're in a battle with, a, with another trainer, you can shake a second Joy-Con or a second Pokeball Plus to have like a partner trainer just come down from the sky and help you. So you can play the entire game cooperatively if you want. And uh, you can also get special bonuses if you catch a Pokemon with a, with a simultaneous throw. You can also uh, get some help in a trainer battle. By the way, you can also see the gender of Pokemon uh, just already oh, in the overworld. Yeah. You see that that's a female Pikachu, for example, right there. I, I like that it's just having a stroll. Just yes. sitting on the, the pathway. And also, something else we notice, I maybe spoiled it a little, uh, <laughs> is that uh, um, now we see Pikachu's tail waggling, right? So yeah. that's a new feature, it's called, it's called dowsing, sorry. And this means that there's an item nearby. Pikachu's tail or Eevee's tail in the Pokemon Let's Go Eevee will uh, start uh, waggling when I am next to an item. You see it goes faster and faster now. And if I approach the item that is hidden behind the tree, I can capture it. So that's a way to find hidden items, the, the way to find um, hidden items more easily. Uh, Alicia, Pikachu's keeping their keep whilst they're loitering on your shoulder. They're not just sitting there for yeah, no reason, uh, yeah. And you walk along going, oh, it's so heavy. <laughs> you see here how, how difficult it is sometimes to see a Pokemon in the tall grass, oh, like yeah. that Caterpie on the, on the right-hand side, it's quite well hidden. And I love the fact that, uh, you know, the. Tall grass was the place where we had the random encounters before, and it has been changed, but it still plays an important role in a much in a way that makes more sense in the world of Pokemon if if this was a real place. Yeah, even though you can get wild encounters outside, it still is a more dangerous, precarious exactly. bit to walk through. So those cocooners had a falling out. I just <laughs> they had an argument. They had a massive yeah. argument. They just I'm gonna evolve him to be drill before you mate. Go away. <laughs> so Something else that uh, we were, well, she asked me if I know the trick to throw the Pokeball. Well, I just clearly showed that I do not. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, when we see Pikachu now, 
coming into battle, you see that he jumps out from the shoulder. Like, that's what I said before, not just like in the anime, he doesn't want to go into a Pokeball, and when he goes into battle, he jumps out from your shoulder. You'll right. see later, if I use another Pokemon, that every other Pokemon comes out from the Pokeball, for example. Right. And we go again with Thundershock, because, of course, against the PG, I think that's the best move I have right now. It's super effective. Very good. Critical hit. Calculated decision. <laughs> <laughs> Zap it. So, we are approaching now the end of Viridian Forest. I wanted to show a little bit also what's after that. Well, our uh, attendees can play up until Viridian Forest, but we can show a little bit more that is not playable right now yet. Oh, yes. And you also get Pokeballs from uh, defeating other Pokemon trainers. Very handy. So... And you have to you be careful money. here. You see how actually also my trainer love, is yeah, he quite careful. He moves the, the grass out of the way. And... Oh, oh you're good. I'm just running through it's it. The Metapod. The Metapod just <laughs> bouncing along. I've always <laughs> respected Metapods for their <laughs> ability to move. There we go. Oh. We see the end of Viridian Forest at the end. The last trainer battle for, the, for Viridian Forest. And... Uh, Back at your semi. Oh, there's a metapod. Oh, no. metapod. There you go, your metapod. No, that's watch as it uses harden 50 times. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. It's super effective. <laughs> but he's also wobbling in the battle. You can he see. Is, he's how how he stays very up like that. With his very, very excited look. You know? yeah. very, very, very excited. Very, very poignant Meta gaze. Metapod is definitely into this fight. <laughs> he is. He definitely wasn't asleep in the Pokeball when it got nope. out. Yeah. He is now. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. There you go. <laughs> Congratulations, Evie. So as I was saying before, you can feel all of the attacks, uh, like the vibration of the attack as an HD rumble vibration here on the Pokeball Plus. But again, everything can also be replicated by the Joy-Con. I feel the vibration of the attack on the Joy-Con. The only thing that changes, of course, is that the Joy-Con doesn't emit the sounds that the Pokeball Plus does. And of course, the feeling of holding a Pokeball is different, <laughs> obviously, when playing the game. I would say it is a really nice feeling just having this controller in one hand. Yes. Like, I'm just imagining just sitting in a sofa with this controller, <laughs> swilling it like a glass. Are you like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, like red wine. <laughs> it's just the most decadent Pokemon player in the world. Oh. So uh, we are out of Viridian Forest. We are approaching Pewter City. Uh, I see all those Ratatas that, uh, well, are being Ratatas. Uh, <laughs> I have so that is a Whoa, they are all, Look yeah. at this. Whoa, they're chasing uh, you. <laughs> Hello, hi, hi, hi. Yeah, yeah. Um, but actually, for now, I will just run away because I want to talk about something else. God, you have I wish seen it said I can't escape. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, obviously, Pokemon can run away when you try and capture them as well. Yes, they can. If you, if you fail to capture them for a while, they might try to run away. What I wanted to talk about now is that you see that I have Charmander following me. This is because he's one of the Pokemon in my party that I chose to take out of the Pokeball and he's just following me. You can do that with any Pokemon you capture and you can even interact with them. So now you, I can oh. talk to Charmander and he seems really happy and he's energetically following me. <laughs> so actually, they're full of uh, contextual sentences. Uh, sometimes they talk about the last Pokemon you captured or sometimes they talk about... Uh, where you are, like sometimes he talks about the fact that the light shining through the trees in Viridian Forest Aww. is something that he really likes. Sometimes he just stares at your face. <laughs> but <laughs> sometimes he just stares at your face. Yeah. That's true, yeah. <laughs> but what something do you want? that I wanted to show you, we said before that all these Pokemon have, are of different sizes, and I'm sure a lot of you guys know already uh, what happens if I take out Onyx, because we showed it a little bit before. But it looks quite cool to see oh. motion. <laughs> <laughs> of course, uh, Ratatas don't yep. care that I'm aboard of a giant rock no. Pokemon because just, they would uh, still attack me it's anyway. The, it's that tiny rat over just there so is like, come on, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, come here. <laughs> oh, yes, exactly. So it's quite cool. You can ride a lot of different Pokemon. And well, it looks there different is. every time you do. <laughs> that Ratata is like, yes. talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> I will actually. I want to approach uh, Pewter City, so I will go back to my Charmander just in case uh, Onyx. Like it's not the best thing to bring into a closed building. <laughs> I mean, I'd, I'm personally, I'd love to roll into a town just <laughs> astride a gigantic <laughs> Pokemon. So, 
And also, when the star is next to the yeah. Pokemon in the top right-hand corner... That means that it's the Pokemon that I chose to take it out of the Pokemon. Right, okay. That's the Pokemon that, is carrying, that I'm carrying with me. Yeah. Right, I see. Together with my partner that is always with me, even if he's not in my active party. Like, I mean, I could have a, a, another six Pokemon in my party, but I would still have Pikachu here on right. my shoulder in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee on my head in Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. Oh, I said, see. the partner never leaves you. Right. And as we approach Peter City, we also see uh, our rival. So, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee are based on Pokemon Yellow. But we are not the same trainer that we were in Pokemon Yellow, and also our rival is not the same rival that we met in Pokemon Yellow. This rival is a bit different as far as rivals go, as he is, you know, instead of like challenging us, I mean, he does challenge us, but he also cheers us up and he tries to give us advice to go on. He's a bit more friendly kind of rival. He likes to interact with my partner, like, in fact, he's talking to Pikachu now, and sometimes he even gives me items. He's giving me item now because he's pushing me to fight the gym leader of Pewter City and therefore he wants me to be prepared. <laughs> That's nice. That's nice. That's, it's sometimes you just want to help him, you know, a guy, a hype man. Yeah, I'm a rival, but here's some, here's some, here's some advice and uh, yeah, I mean, friendship. Yeah, it's, it's they're pushing each other to be the best possible trainer, you know, <laughs> yeah, they're, so they're encouraging rivalry. each other to, to be their, their, best, their best version of themselves. <laughs> to be the very best. I'm just used to Gary. Just smell you later. Just <laughs> telling me, go and train. <laughs> so as I enter the Pokemon Center, we can see more elements that Whoa, are connected to the cartoon. Joy. Yes. So this is not just any nurse from any Pokemon Center. This is Nurse Joy and <laughs> her Chansey. And uh, so happy, Chansey. If we, <laughs> yes. The slow rock. <laughs> If we also, if we talk to her to get uh, my Pokemon healed in preparation for this battle, look at Pikachu now. As, as usual, he doesn't go into a Pokeball for now. He just jumps on top uh, of the table, like he does many, many times in the anime. And again, classic music, classic sprites. And if I look around a little bit in the Pokemon Center, you see the original map from Amazing. the region. You see that uh, everybody's playing with their Nintendo Switch. Of course they are. But you will be able to recognize also other elements from the anime. There are so many references that, you know, for a lot of people that approach the world of Pokemon uh, in more recent years, they, they don't, maybe they don't mean much to them, but they mean a lot to us. All of the sprites, all of the sounds. So uh, there are a lot of uh, changes, a lot of additions, a lot of small details that are really, really interesting. Like, for example, here, actually, I'm just going to talk to her. Uh, you have small, um, let's say, side quests, but not really. Anyway, you have more characters you can interact to. So That's she a question. wants... Uh, can we make her a favor? Yeah? Should I say yes? Yeah, yeah okay. let's do it. So she wants to go to the Pewter Museum, which, as we know, is quite interesting. But uh, the Slowpoke, being Slowpoke, uh, is refusing to budge. So we have to yeah, keep an eye on him. We have to babysit the Slowpoke for a little right. bit. <laughs> okay. I respect Slowpoke's sure. decision. <laughs> and look at how intense the labor is of babysitting Slowpoke for <laughs> this time. Okay. You'll see now that uh, he's really giving us like a big challenge here. <laughs> But again, this is all that sort of much more that stuff about making you feel like you're in a <laughs> world of Pokemon because yes. you're now interacting with this Slowpoke yes. and it's not a battle, it's not a catch. You're seeing it in the world. Exactly. Being a Pokemon in a world. Exactly. It's just, again, to give you this feeling, you are living in the world of Pokemon. And yeah, it was a very relaxing time that we spent with Slowpoke. I think we all agree. Uh, <laughs> I like the Charmander looked like he was babysitting you. He was staring at you. <laughs> I mean, this is also just, you know, to show that even if you've played uh, Pokemon Yellow for 100 times, uh, you can still yes. <laughs> you can still <laughs> find something new in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. And, by the way, for my trouble, I got a big pearl. Remember, nice. we are in Pewter City. This is not, this is not a bad item to get this, uh, this early in the game. And may, maybe, maybe we will. I don't know. Maybe. I'm feeling pretty. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty tired now from this very intense, intense babysitting mission. Uh, as we approach the gym, something that we see here, Peter Ch City Pokemon Gym, is the first gym that we see basically in the game. We are still right at the beginning of the game, 
And uh, we can see also something that a lot of people that might have started watching the anime later might have not have played Pokemon Yellow, that Brock was actually a gym leader. And a lot of people maybe now know that Brock is just Ash's best friend. They don't know that he originally was the first gym leader that you meet. And of course, this is uh, being Brock's gym. It's a rock type uh, Pokemon gym. Another change, another addition, another thing that makes it similar to the anime is that uh, there is now an audience with seats around the Pokemon gym. This is because, again, when we see the anime and there is a big fight, there's always people watching, commenting, cheering people up, and therefore we wanted to create this feeling of uh, Pokemon uh, gyms and trainer battles or something that are being watched in the game as people, uh, I mean, the people in this world are interested in Pokemon battles. I love the fact that you get like a nice cut scene at the beginning yes, and it shows you the whole gym. Yes. <laughs> and uh, another uh, small change, this is the first time in the game that anybody talks to me about Pokemon types. So instead of uh, making a tutorial, something that sort of brings you out of the immersion, something that uh, tells you this is a video game, uh, we made something that has more sense in the game world. So it's a character in the game world that is telling you this gym leader is a rock type. And if you don't know, grass and water Pokemon are effective against rock types. And therefore, he asks me to show him a grass or water Pokemon. Again, just in order to explain this system in a way that makes sense in the, inside the, the, the rules of this world. Of course, I have both Bulbasaur and Squirtle, so I have everything you need to see. <laughs> Excellent. And I can go on. And here's one I captured earlier. That's <laughs> oh. So, that's Pewter Gym Trainer. And uh, just because we talked about using the right type of Pokemon against the rock types, and I also have just been battling with uh, Pikachu so far, so I just want to show another Pokemon. See Pikachu coming down from my shoulder. I'm gonna change because Geodude is not the right matchup for Pikachu, I think. I'm sure you can make it work, it's fine. Just why not? And brute force it, that's what I always <laughs> used to do. Also, if you see now, first of all, every Pokemon has this beautiful background which is in theme with their type. If I choose, like for example, Charmander, you see fire. And uh, you see that, that there is a CP value on the top right corner. I just wanted to point out the fact, to point out the attention to the fact that uh, Pokemon still have all of their stats. They still have HP, special attack, special defense, attack, defense, and speed, just like any other Pokemon. The CP value that is also borrowed from Pokemon Go is just a quick glance reference. If you don't want to spend time to look at stats, if you want to, if you don't want to do the math, you just have a quick number that tells you this Pokemon is strong than this other Pokemon is just for that. Right. We switch, and again, we see Pikachu walking back, but Bulbasaur is popping out of oh, the Pokeball. Bulbasaur. And uh, the fence curl, I don't think it's going to cut it, mate. The fence rose, but we have Vine Whip, which also looks great and also feels really intense as an attack. Bam. That should. Nice. Oh, almost. A critical hit, even. That's good. Even a critical hit and it's still not good enough. No. Nope. It's Geo, dude. Got to train that Bulbasaur more, man. <laughs> Get out, fight those Ratatas. They wanted it. <laughs> fight there we go. more Ratatas. <laughs> it's very capture the Ratatas. <laughs> Just don't try and capture a bee drill. I tried to do that the other day. It's yeah, just like no, I tried around with a butterfree. Everywhere. It was nuts. It was so hard. And we also see here, for example, I'm leveling up, and you'll see the CP value will increase now because my stats have increased. Oh, wow. Okay. So again it's, again, it's a coefficient that just tells you how the Pokemon is improved or not. By the way, uh, we showed you can get experience points both from capturing Pokemon and from... Um, fighting other trainers, if you capture the same type of Pokemon twice, you can send the second Pokemon to the professor, which will give you candy in return. And this is yet another new way to power up your Pokemon. So I'm going to skip this one. Oh, we're going to. Oh. And uh, there you go. Our it's rock. Friend, at this time rival, uh, or at this time Pokemon leader, Pokemon gym leader. He's still a lovely chap. Yes. Ask him for a donut. 
<laughs> but uh, I will leave uh, the players oh, to discover what on, happens Felipe. in the trailer battle later. I want to show something else. I think uh, people are going to be happy about that <laughs> anyway. Oh, okay. So if you can uh, switch to the other uh, console, please. Can we get the holding screen up on the big screen, guys? We can just go to the other console. No, we can just go directly oh, go to the other one. To, okay. Let's switch over to the... Ah, oh, okay. There we go. So now, as you can see from the fact that Evie is on my head, uh, and I'm also now playing as a female trainer, I'm playing with a different version of the game. I'm playing with Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. And uh, I am in a completely new area that's called the Go Park. So in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, you can transfer the Pokemon from the Kanto region into from Pokemon Go into Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. But you don't simply automatically get them. You transfer them into the Go Park. The Go Park is where the old uh, Safari Zone used to be. So you cannot do it just at the very beginning of the game. You need to play a little bit before you can do that. But the Go Park is where all of the Pokemon that you've transferred from Pokemon Go are. And you can see that they interact with each other and they're having I think lots of oh, fun wow. here. We see a lot of oh, man, just beautiful. Oh, yes, I'm just gonna do a Maybe panorama so. here because the models are like great. <laughs> yeah, that does. There he yes. is. Oh wow! There we go. Oh, oh my Kangas goodness! Khan. Yes, they are really Many beautiful. Gengars. Yes. Mime. <laughs> In fact, I have like. I have uh, like Mr. Mime 12. is miming. Yes. <laughs> I have like 12 Mr. Mimes on my Go game. <laughs> I'm gonna put them all here. All of them. They're oh, what the? Oh. <laughs> 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 we didn't see that. <laughs> we didn't see that. No, we did, but anyway. Um, <laughs> okay, so one thing. When uh, you transfer a Pokemon from Pokemon Go to um, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, uh, the Pokemon will go back to level one, and you have to capture them again. So just to end this demonstration, I want to show you a much harder catch uh, than what we saw so I'm far. try and capture a Hitmonlee. I will try to capture a Hitmonlee. It's Ooh. tiny, it's though. Tiny. Yeah, it's but not it's that big. still <laughs> tiny but aggressive. <laughs> so actually, first I... Only have one <laughs> Raspberry and no Ultra Balls. They didn't give me any here because I used oh. them unwisely in the previous point. <laughs> Jumped over and there. he moves and he attacks a lot, so I really need to uh, try to catch him. And I maybe might need some cheering from the crowd. Come on, guys. Come, come, on, on, guys. come on, Come on, Good. Good. No, Constantly, not just one. Come on. <laughs> come, come, on. come on. Oh. Oh, come on, catch it. Come straight, on. Straight, come, come on, on come on. Okay. All right. Okay, come on, okay. guys. Need your power. One, One two, two, three. three. Wow! Yes! First try. First try. <laughs> it never happened First before. That's better than the okay. other day. <laughs> oh my god. But as you can see, I can also direct where I throw the Pokeball. I was throwing it to the right. Very so, good. whoa, that was really good, actually. <laughs> the other uh, day, that took five hours. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> it, took, it took quite a while last time. <laughs> good, good. So, this is just a small, small demonstration of everything you can do, well, of a few things that you can do in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee when they come out on the 16th of November. Excellent. Together with the Pokeball Plus controller. Amazing. Thank well, you very much, guys, and I will see you next year. Absolutely. Guys, yes, a round of applause for, of course, Filippo. Thank you so much for this fantastic Thank showcase you. of this game. Thank you. Nick. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee is available on the show floor. You guys can go and check you go check it out for yourselves. As you saw there, it is an incredible game. And you get a chance to see the Pokeball Plus in action as well. But I'm gonna say farewell, aren't I, to both of you Aww. guys? Unfortunately so. Aww. Last day. Last day. Aww. Guys, one more time, a massive round of applause for Filippo and, of course, for Mr. James Bowden from Nintendo UK. Thank you very much, guys. I'll see you guys very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.